So yeah, so it's been 45 minutes now. I tell you what, 45 minutes seem quite quickly actually. Um, but anyway, yeah, so my pies come out of the oven. As you can see, that looks really nice, doesn't it? Now my wheels in motion and my and welcome to today's vlog hope you're all okay yeah i hope you all had a really really lovely christmas a christmas day boxing day again christmas day was different for us and obviously mum and dad and becca and dom and me had come up yesterday and it felt more a bit more christmasy as well so that wasn't too bad so yeah i know sammy said he preferred yesterday better seeing mum and dad because again it's all something he's always been used to but you anyway, know yeah kids are happy sammy's watching the trolls. Is that the first troll you're watching, Sammy? Yeah. What? The first one. Yeah, he's watching the first trolls on BBC One. I think it is on there. So yeah, um, and then Ben's upstairs in his bedroom, so can hear. It's all right. I can hear him bouncing and rocking on his bed. The last couple of days, but we noticed it more yesterday. His stimming's got really, really bad again. They're like constant rocking like this to bouncing on his bed. So I, it's good that he can self-regulate himself as well, which is one good thing. But again, yeah, over the last few days, it's got really bad. I think because he's out of his routine, obviously he knows he has to get up and go to school and that sort of thing. But he hasn't been out of the house since Saturday. Obviously, Christmas Eve, we didn't go out. Christmas Day was at home. And yesterday, obviously, would be Boxing Day as well. So, yeah, we definitely going to get some milk today. So, I said, we was going to go out for a walk, get him out and about that way. But it's absolutely tipping it down with rain. So, I think we might have to go in the car. And I even said to Steve, when he texted me earlier on, even if we just go out for a drive in the car for a little bit, get, get men out of the house. I think that's his Ben's issue because he doesn't like being stuck in the house anymore. He loves being out and about exploring places and stuff. So hopefully if we can get him out for a little bit, he'll be he'll be okay. This is the thing though, it's trying to find things now between Christmas and New Year. Well, technically the kids have still got another week off as well. So yeah, that's going to be the hardest part, trying to find things to do, what doesn't cost the earth. And at the minute, because obviously all the indoor places will be so we did say about going back bowling again because obviously the kids absolutely love bowling and when we went for his birthday Ben seemed to really enjoy it as well so like I said the theme parks are open till March this year so I mean, what day do the theme parks open? March oh, I know what day is it? you don't know it's only around the end of March like the 27th of March always around that weekend they open so um, yeah but we're definitely going to try and do a few more things with our Merlin passes this time obviously still go to Chessington and Legoland because the kids absolutely love it but we'll try and try and explore like go down back down to London again go on the London Eye do Madame Tussauds do the Sea Life Centre down there we have done it before and remember the first year we went this is when Sam was in his mainstream school then Ben was yeah Sammy was off and then Ben was at school because at the time um, they were in different schools, different counties, and basically they're different holidays. So yeah, we took Sammy down one year, that's us three, and he absolutely loved it. And then we also took Ben down as well, and he coped really well with the underground and that sort of thing. So yeah, we probably might plan that as well. But the thing is, you don't really want to do the London Eye when it's grey and miserable. It's always nice. It's always nice to do the London Eye when it's nice and sunny because you can actually see it from Mars at the top so I know also it is closed sometime in January or February for its annual maintenance as well so I need to check when that is and obviously yeah we haven't done Madame Tussauds for ages and I believe that's had it for an upgrade as well so yeah also um talk about doing some more of the sea life centres as well we haven't been to Birmingham sea life centre for ages 
and which Ben obviously really loves those as well. The only thing is with Birmingham City Life Centre, because it's in the centre of Birmingham, there's necessarily nowhere to park, if that makes sense. So we see if we do go, we'll probably drive to like the NEC bit and then get the train into the centre like we have done before. So give a comment down below if you know there's anywhere to park near Birmingham Sea Life Centre and we'll have to investigate it all. So yeah, definitely want to do a new, new more, new more, few more things. I know yesterday we were talking to Becky and Dom and they were said about us trying to arrange a trip up to Alton Towers. Again, we keep saying it every year, but we never do. But now they've got Amelia. Amelia absolutely loves Sea Beavers. They want to take her to Sea Beavers land and stuff. And then know Ben would love the Century Garden up there as well. So yes, we have got a few things in the pipeline. Nothing fancy is booked or nothing like that. Yeah, I was hoping to go back to Disney, but we said, no, we just financially just can't afford it at the minute so it'd be nice and like I said we're going to go 2025 now give us a couple of years to save up like we've done for this year and then by then frozen land will be open so yeah that'd be really good to go and see that so but anyway yeah um basically um, okay, we're done for five minutes now haven't I just talking so anyway so plan for today is basically just need to get into the living room declutter the living room sort all the Christmas presents out um I know Sam is still keep, Ben's still keep, well, so we, Ben hasn't took him, but we took Ben's um, Blu-rays and DVDs upstairs for him. Yeah, he was watching Justin's house last night and he was absolutely loving it, really giggly, really, really smiley. Sam has installed the games on his Switch, so he's just taken them out of the bag as he wants them. And then obviously the clothes and that sort of thing as well, so yeah. And hopefully, fingers crossed, a bit later on I can make my pie, again, use up all the leftovers and stuff, but... Again, I don't know if I really fancy a big dinner, to be honest. If it's something nice and easy, I think, I don't know. But anyway, we'll see how we come to it. But anyway, yeah, um, the battery camera is flashing again. I didn't charge it up again last night. So, and then to check on Ben, see how Ben's getting on. So, come and join us for the decluttering day today. So, yeah, we're just back from Tesco. It's only got the bits we needed, which was some milk, didn't we, for us and for Ben. Um... I wanted some stock keys because obviously I'm making my pie and I thought I had some in the, fr in the cupboard. I didn't have any, so I just got them. Oh, hello, Ben. Have you come down now? And obviously when I went into Tesco, so yeah, it was really, really quiet. There's only a few customers in there and stuff. And again, there's only like the new, like the more bread and egg milks, that sort of thing. So we were right from the eggs. It was all right for bread. It was just milk we needed. So yeah, still keep saying we need a cow. For the garden as well and, and the weather up there isn't exactly that nice is it it's absolutely tipping it down with rain seems in the garage being a couple of bits in there and you said you can actually hear the rain like drip, coming on top of the roof so it feels like it's going to come in um but yeah what, what storm is this dying storm what storm. Yeah, yeah storm yeah right yeah it gives with the g anyway so no, this right. matter then What's the matter? Mum, I, I got you another candy. I don't want to press him. I don't want to flop, sweetheart. Can you pull it back? Can you put it back in my bag? I'll be a blessing with myself. I need to sort out the Christmas bits. But yeah, it's been one of those days today. So definitely sort them all out tomorrow anyway. But yeah, um, main pot part part now is getting this pie sorted out for tea. Right, so here goes. I'm just about to start making my pie. So yeah, I'm just going to pour a tiny little bit of oil in um not too much it's only so things don't be sick to it to be honest with you so i'll leave that out anyway just in case i need it so give that good old thing around the pan like that so yeah and i've also got a leek which i've just chopped up as well so yeah so i'm just going to put that in there as well it's, it's a great way to use all your leftovers up actually to be honest with you as well isn't it um I know when Jane Rolliver makes his, he just throws everything in his pie, doesn't he? Yeah. So, yes, again, let's put that back over there for now. And um, let's get my wooden spoon out the cupboard as well. There you go, got my wooden spoon. So, if I turn that round, give these a good couple of minutes. I actually have a I did turn the oven on, so I don't know why it hasn't come on for. I'll turn that one on. There we go. If I move that one out, the, if I move that saucepan out the way, there we go. Have more room on this one here. That's better. 
what it best plugged in. Actually, I think, yeah, I put it on this because it's going to be fine. So, yeah, so I'm just, just going to give my um, leeks a little bit of frying over with, like so. Hang on just a second, this oven's playing up. Hang on just a second, let's sort this hob out and I'll be back. Done, so yeah, so I've managed to sort out the hob. Apparently, the hob's gone over the buttons or something. So, yeah, so anyway, yeah, so my leeks are frying quite nicely in my pot now. Then, to my pot, in my pan, I can wrap the turkey as well. Yeah, because I've got this turkey, so yeah, obviously, it is, it is okay because it's been being um, reheated because it gets being recooked through again. So, obviously, my hands are nice and clean. So, yeah, I'm just gonna get bits and just break it all up like so that's it just throw it all in okay well you can certainly smell these leeks cooking can't you mm, bubble and squeak yeah bubble and squeak a lot of people do bubble and squeak yeah, comment down below what do you do your leftover turkey or gammon um, or whatever you have or whatever you have yeah your leftovers what do you actually do with it so it's a great way to actually use them all up as well isn't it so I think I might use the majority of this turkey actually to be honest with you. Again, it doesn't really matter to be honest with you. I know the kids will absolutely love it. They always do. Uh, quite a few times I've had Sam's oh mummy, when are you gonna make your pie again, don't he? Quite a few times. So make sure we get that other gammon out before New Year's. Oh yeah, we've got a gammon in the freezer actually, so I'm running I wonder when the best time to get that out. That's actually for New Year's Day. Yeah, I say get it out Friday, so at least 72 hours for it to mm. defrost like so it's quite a good piece of gammon isn't it? Mm. There we go. How much more turkey do you want to put in this? Use it all up. Use it all up, yeah? You need to be used it now anyway, you can't save it. You can't save it now can you, because it was Christmas Day, it's now day after Boxing Day, so yeah. Try to just use it all up, mm. absolutely fine. Why are you there, do you want to cut some of that gammon off for me? I'm busy, I'm going to do some e-black stuff. Okay, you'll have to get it, it seems to be busy, so... Here we go, look at this. There we go. I know some people do it with sandwiches and stuff, don't they? So, there we go. Let's put the last few bits of this in, put it all up. There we go. Look at that. It's like your combination you do when you pass through, really, isn't it? So you give that, yeah, that's fine. Right, this last few couple of bits in there. That's it. That's the bits of the turkey. So there's quite a lot of gammon left over, actually, but I think the gammon doesn't really matter. I think it tends to have a bit more of a longer shell life once you've cooked it rather than the turkey. So, yeah. Yeah, that's all the turkey in. I'm going to move my plate out of the way. Put that in the seat ready for the dishwasher in a bit. Yeah, so look at all this gammon. You've got the same, we've got loads and loads and loads of gammon here. So what I'm going to do is, again, get my gammon and just break all this up as well. Put all this one in. So if I've got any smaller, yeah, there's a few smaller bits here as well. That's it. Yeah, I've got this lot here, that's better. I've got that lot there. No problem is with gammy, just be careful. Sometimes it can be a bit fatty though, can't it? That's the only issue. That's it. Don't know what I might do, actually, might get the kitchen scissors and cut a couple of bits up. But again, these have been washed anyway, so in the fact they've been stuck, they'll be putting them in the dishwasher here. So if I cut those bits up, that'd be a lot easier rather than breaking it all up. That way. And least with all the gammon bits, the fatty bits, it's going to add to the flavour a bit as well. That's it, a bit more gammon in as well. Mm. Mm. Yeah, little bits and pieces, that ends up to be fine. Okay, mm. look at this. What this is, this, this smells absolutely delicious. Mm. More bits here. I'll take that bit off. Yeah, that bit's quite alright. Like this is but the hardy bit. But again, once it goes in the pie, and then the wiser, really. There we go. 
Oh, the bits are here yet. There we go. What's that? There we go. Look at that. That look really nice. That's it. And yeah, just a couple more bits of gammon, I think. Mm. Mm. Okay, there's a couple of bits here. Mm. Well, so it's only going in the bin after what I don't use, so. Mm. If it's quite little, that one's actually fine. Cut that piece up. That one there can get off as well. There we go. That's cooking quite nicely. Now, that's it. Anything else I want to put in here? Yeah, more bits of gammon. Sammy, how much gammon do you want in this pie? Mummy's baking up pies, how much gammon do you want me to put in it? Lots, he goes, Sammy loves this gammon, that more than meat he has, I have to admit, he'll pick gammon all the time. Mm. 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 And also, grab my spoon. Oh, my spoon. Oh, my goodness. Grab my spoon. Oh, my goodness. Grab my spoon. I did have a bit of stuff in leftover as well, so I kept that. I'm going to throw my stuff in as well. So, yeah, there we go. All that stuff in there as well. Why not? I just throw a thing in, say so he's having to waste it all. More stuff in there, yeah, a bit more stuff in there. There's stuff in just there. And yeah, there's quite a bit of stuff in that favour actually, to be honest with you. Yeah. Even got a few vegetables, I might throw a few vegetables in there, make it a nice hearty filling. Pine sneeze it actually outside in the middle because it's absolutely tipping it down. It's horrible. Really, really is. Yeah, so I'm going to let this cook now for a few more minutes and I'll be back in a second to show you what I do in a second. Yeah, so my mixture here is cooked now, but it's had about 10-15 minutes or so. So yeah, the leeks are quite brown and stuff in places as well. See, it's, like I said, it's all come to boil as well. So I'm trying to transfer it over to my big pan now. So I'm adding two um, stock cubes first to this one here. Oh, that's not melt. That's not melted that very well, actually. To be honest with you, so I'll just stick them in there anyway. So yeah, actually, fine like that. And then here, got my mixture, so I can just pour this in here, like so. Yeah. So if I just put my page three in my tin, I'll put it in like that as well so and hopefully fingers crossed it'll go over the sides a bit okay well put your grapefruit down i want you know grease paper on it down that's absolutely fine well put grease paper down you put grease paper on it yeah yeah okay well so it don't stick you mean mm. yeah because i've just got three that might stick okay yeah so just put my grease paper in now these are supposed to be non-stick um trays anyway but you never know do you then put my pastry back in there that's it like so and just waiting for this then to um, bubble up. How's this getting on? Let's have a look. Yep, a couple more minutes and then this one here should be done. So, yeah, so um, done my tin here as well. Just took all the uh, mixture type thing off the um, hob now because it's, as you can see, it started to thicken up a little bit. I don't want it too thick because um, I find if I do it too thick, sometimes it tastes a bit doughy sometimes in the actual pie so yeah so then i'll just get this one here 
with my spoon. Okay, and then I just tip all that lot back in there, making sure I get into all the corners. Which I have, and you can see there's quite a, a little bit left in there. So I just get my spoon and then just go over. Oh, get right off the spoon. That's it. Put that lot back in there. That's it. Like so. Which I have there. That's it. Push that all in. I'll turn you around that way. You can see. Push all that lot in to the corners. Uh, whoops, and you can see it has it's nice from filling, so yeah, um, it's really plenty big enough. And so, if we just plenty them for all of us, see it's about doing some chips or something, but definitely won't need it for that. And then, just get my other bit of my pastry. Is that fine though? These packaging, they're sometimes getting a little like, harder to undo as well. Like, you've got the good old scissors there. Sit. That look at the pastry. Like so. This one seems bigger actually. This one does seem bigger. Probably not, but then what I'm gonna do is then because the pastry is a little bit more bigger, I'm gonna go around the sides like so and try and crimp it and actually crimp it but push it down to the size of it like so so it seals it all in a little bit that's it there we go and again that is my pie so yes it's going to go in the oven now for about 40 about 35 to 40 minutes I'll say on we'll say about 190 a fan I'm not too quite sure what it is at gas temperature or nothing like that but so yeah and then what's another thing I am going to do is grab my knife which is this one just here and I'm just going to put a couple of slits in the top so that the air escape as well there we go yeah, and we should let you know what the pie is like when it comes out of the oven. So mm. yes, yeah, so it's been 45 minutes now. I tell you what, 45 minutes seem quite quickly actually. Um, but anyway, yeah, so my pie's come out of the oven. As you can see, that looks really nice, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. The is, I wonder if it tastes nice or not. And it shouldn't have stuck because obviously so I've put this... What? So greasy. I know, you can put some greasy paper on it. So yeah, so let's see what it's like. Obviously, I'm going to split it in the middle. Um, I'm going to do down the middle there, it's about, it's about half. And now, listen to that crunch on that pastry. So, yeah, get that good old that side and turn it around that side. About there, and it's so yeah, it's like I said, we shouldn't need, shouldn't need nothing else with it because of all the filling actually inside it. But I bet you it won't come out in the pile. I bet it will have to sort of put the extra to it and stuff. But yeah, let's have a look. Let's get my fish slice. What is the proper name for this? One of these things. I've always, sure. I've always called this a fish slice. I don't know if it's actually right. Yeah, comment down below if it is wrong. Cause it is a fish slice. It is a fish slice. Yeah, because it's flat. There we go. And look at that pie. Yep. Nice filling pie that is, isn't it? So yeah, it's going on there. As you can see, it hasn't all come out all at once. I knew it wouldn't with the pastry. But anyway, all, it's all going to go the same way though, isn't it? So, but yeah, put that steam on that pastry, on that pie. There we go. You can see, um, got the leeks, put the carrot in there, put the brussels in there as well, the gammon and the turkey look that is really really full i tell you what if you were buying a pie from the shop it wouldn't be that full would it mm. but anyway yeah so like i said we're just gonna go and eat these now sure yeah, go into the pie business make your own pie well make my own pie yeah well what are Shell's, these Cheryl's pies Cheryl's pies you want something that's not bacon done scammon 
That's what Mummy used literally to use the rest of our pie with. So yeah, this is this one. I don't know, it hasn't come time out. Time, so anyway, yeah, I'm really going to sort this mess out. And we'll let you know in a minute what we think when we've had some. Well, there she fam, that brings Wednesday to an end. And yep, yeah, we're getting ever closer now to the end of the year. And uh, start of 2024. Can you believe it, Cheryl? It's soon going to come around, isn't it? It is. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, hats off to the chef today for that pie. Did you enjoy that pie? Hodgepodge pie, shall we call it? <laughs> it had a bit of everything in it, didn't it? It was yeah. nice, though. I think it's better than one after second, so Ben really enjoyed it, didn't he? Yeah, so that was very, very nice. And also, yeah, we've been out today for a bit of a ride, haven't we? Uh, in the Just car. Just got Ben out the Just house. Just got out the house for a bit. I first thing, I think Ben was going a bit stir-crazy when he in the house. Yeah, I think he's got fed up of having uh, uh, very heavy dinners for the last few days. So nice and easy for dinner, I think. Tomorrow. Back to the normal stuff tomorrow night. Yeah, anyway, okay. thank you very much for joining us. As always, like the video, comment down below. Hit the you know what. We'll see you for Thursday. Bye, everybody. Bye, everyone.